Hi, this is Jill Dillingham, and I'm here to share a short lesson with you on Perimeter. I've had a few technical difficulties this morning, uh, but I'm trying to share my screen for a brain pop video. But before I do that, I wanted to start with my central question for the lesson. And it would be that if you were going to add a playground area to your backyard or to your playground at school, a square area for some swings and slides, and you had to put a fence around it, how would you decide the amount of fencing material that you would need to add this playground. Doesn't that sound like fun? Um, so I wanted to start with a video from Brain Pop and I had trouble sharing my screen um, earlier from my computer. So I found my phone and we are going to go with it on the phone. Let's see. The robots keep stealing our vegetables, Moby. We should build a fence around our class garden. First, we'll need to figure out the perimeter. What is perimeter? The perimeter is the total distance around something. You can think of the perimeter as an outline around something. The lines in the grass show the perimeter of the soccer field. The fences show the perimeter of each piece of land. The map shows the perimeter of each state. But you can also find the perimeter of small things, like my notebook. Question, Moby. How do you find the perimeter? You can find the perimeter of a shape or figure by adding the lengths of all of its sides. Each side of this packet of seeds is 10 centimeters long. To find the perimeter, add the lengths together. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. You can skip count by 10 to find the sum. 10, 20, 30, 40. The perimeter is 40 centimeters. Let's find the perimeter of the carrot section of the garden. To find the perimeter, add the lengths together. Two plus three plus two plus five. I know it's a long number sentence, so that's why I add the easier numbers first. Let's see, two, plus two is equal to four. So now I add four plus three plus five. I know four plus five is equal to nine. Four. Nine plus three is equal to 12. The perimeter of the carrot section is 12 feet. It's helpful to break up long number sentences into smaller ones to help you add. What's the perimeter of this shape? Add the lengths together to find out. Three plus five plus seven. I know that three plus seven is equal to 10. 10 plus five is equal to 15. So the perimeter of the shape is 15 centimeters. Figuring out the perimeter can help you build or design things. We want to build a fence that goes around our class garden. What's the perimeter of the garden? I know our class garden is six feet wide and four feet long. Add up all of the measurements to find the perimeter. Six plus four plus six plus four. I know that six plus four makes 10. So now I add 10 plus 10. That's equal to 20. The perimeter of the garden is 20 feet. Since we know the perimeter, we can figure out how much fencing we need to put around it. Then we can keep the rabbits out.
Nice fence, Moby. I don't think any rabbits will get in our garden now. But I don't think we can get in either. Okay, thank you. I apologize for having to show the video that way. Um, so let me share my whiteboard with you now that I've created down here at the bottom. Just a moment, please. So for perimeter, we have the second one. So there we go. The perimeter is the total distance around a shape. And our number sentence would be adding all of those sides together to find the perimeter. As Annie talked about in the video, if you have a, a square shape, um, one dimension of the square should be the same on all four sides if it's a true square. So if this yellow square has a four centimeter edge, each of the four sides then would be four centimeters. So four plus four plus four plus four. So if you know your doubles fact, your first four plus four is eight. And so then your second doubles fact is another four plus four is eight. So eight plus eight, this yellow square would have the perimeter of 16 centimeters, four plus four plus four plus four, if you're building a fence on that one. Okay, let me close my whiteboard. Um, let me see. So I have some uh, worksheets that you can work on on your own from uh, superteacher.com. And I've left the um, source on my page here in just a moment to show you there's a perimeter of a shape. And then here's some that Annie talked about as well, the farm uh, perimeter of some things. So we will do a few more examples together before I let you um, give it a try on your own. So I uh, made one up here and I realized this may be a little backwards, but here's my rectangle. It's three feet tall by six feet wide. And so if you were given a rectangle with similar shapes like this, you're going to add the six plus six and three plus three and come up with 18. Sometimes when you have a rectangle, though, they may only give you two of the four numbers. And in a rectangle, you remember that the two parallel sides would have the same uh same lengths for a rectangle. So six plus six would be our doubles of 12 and three plus three is our double of six. So 12 plus six, the perimeter of this shape would be 18. I have a couple more and here's kind of a fun one that's a little bit different. This one is a triangle and you can also do the perimeter of three-sided shapes as well. So my triangle, I said that it was four inches um, for each side. So four plus four plus four, three fours would be 12. The perimeter of this shape would be 12 inches if you were um, using, uh, needing to figure out the length of the string to wrap around the shape or something like that. You need 12 inches of string to make around this shape. Okay, and then my last example is the same one that Annie did in her garden. It's a square shape and it was 10 centimeters on all four sides. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, you can count, skip count by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. So this would be, have a perimeter of 40 centimeters. So let's review. So our square has four equal sides. We're going to add up all four sides for the perimeter. Rectangles are going to have two equal sides. So the two long sides and the two short sides, you're going to add all of those together as well to come up with the perimeter. And um, I have one quick question that I wanted you to answer before we uh, leave our video. And if I were to tell you on a piece of paper to draw a four-sided shape with 17 as the long and 13 as the short, how would you come up with a perimeter for a rectangle that has 17 inches for the long side and 13 inches for the short side. I'll give you just a second. Yes, you would add 17 plus 17 and 13 plus 13, add those numbers together. I like to see the sevens and the threes as a quick 10. So I might potentially do 13 plus 17 and come up with the answer of 30 and then two 30, so 30 plus 30 is 60. So it should be 60 uh, feet or centimeters, whatever our unit of measure was, would be the perimeter. And so here I'm going to show you my um, agenda that we have covered for perimeter and uh, my references, which would be the Brain Pop video and the Super Teacher worksheets. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this and I apologize for my technical difficulties. Thank you.